Hello class, Professor Gene Romero back for another installment of Y Charts 101 to kick off the spring semester here. Today we're going to be looking at using Y Charts to do some tax loss harvesting. Always at the forefront of any advisor's mind as they dig into the meat of the spring semester. Speaking of meat, how about we dip into this A1 model portfolio right here on my screen. I'll go ahead and click on that link and it'll open up our model portfolios quote page. Always a lot of great analytics and statistics anytime you jump into a model portfolio page within the Y chart system. Um, but for today, I'm going to go ahead and take a closer look at some of the underlying holdings. To do that, I'm going to open up our quick close drawer over on the right hand side of the screen and take a look at the holdings trailing returns. This will go ahead and take a look at all of the underlying securities as well as the portfolio as a whole and show us performance statistics over a variety of time periods. Now that we have that, we can go ahead and sort any of these columns. I'll go ahead and just look at a one year returns. Easy to see that OOSYX is the only security in this particular model that's in the red. Everything else is in the black. So let's go ahead and maybe take a, a look at finding a replacement to that security. So that way we can sell that as, as a loss and then um, replace that with a winner. So to do that, I'm gonna just go to tools up at the top here go into our fund screening tool. I work pretty closely with these models, so I do know that that's a, a bank loan fund. Um, if you are a new student to Y charts, one really nifty thing is to always leverage some of the templates that we have in the system here. So I'll just go to new fund screen, new from template. Let's go to the fixed income section on that left hand side, and then just look at some of the best performing taxable bond funds. Hit start, that'll take us into a pre-built screen looking at um, bond funds. If I do want to replace that bank loan fund that I have in my model with another bank loan fund, I'll simply just go to category name, US fund categories, and look for bank loans. That gets us down to a short list of four, which you can see right here. Um, I will also go ahead and rank these funds. So let's go ahead and open up one of my saved scoring models. I have one that I use for tax loss harvesting. Components there being pretty simple. It's just one year total returns, higher values are better. It's weighted at 50%. Potential cap gains, lower values are better, 25%. Three year beta, lower values being better, 25%. I add that score column in. It will sequentially rank these four funds in order. And now I can go ahead and compare any of these to our um, incumbent fund. Once again, I'll just come back to quick close, go to comparison, OOSYX is our incumbent fund, EIBLX is going to be our potential replacement, and now you can click on any of these shortcuts to go into different areas of the Y chart system. To start, a simple performance chart might be interesting, where we can go ahead and look at the performance of the two securities over any time period, it's going to default to a one year chart, but of course we can click to a three or a five year chart to see that performance over time. Pretty good stuff there. If you did want to go ahead and dig into things like credit quality, fixed income sector exposure, uh, tax adjusted return comparisons might be interesting, you can click on that and it'll go ahead and open up a head to head comparison of the two securities. Um, pretty easily for you so that way you don't have to spend a bunch of time digging through the system to find that. Great stuff when you look at the returns, tax cost ratios, and tax adjusted monthly returns across the board. EIBLX looks to be awesome. So now what you can do to take this a step further is go into your model portfolios, replace the Invesco fund with this Eaton Vance fund, and then monitor it on an ongoing basis. Thank you guys for watching, really appreciate your time. Um, please keep your eye out for future installments of Y Charts 101 and keep your grades up. Thank you.